Hello and welcome to R&B Models with Rick and Brandy. Today we are reviewing AMT's 1970 Corvette LT1 ZR1 Coupe. And Rick's going to go through everything that came in this particular kit. Yeah, we uh, we got this at one of the, oh, not too long ago, and I decided to bump it up closer because we haven't done a Corvette or anything like that yet. So, but here's the, it's got the side, you know, build the Corvette, you know, this way. It's a LT1 or ZR1, whatever, whichever we want to do it. Over here, it's got the different striping, the rally wheels. Shows the hood, you know, the LT1 ZR1 hood. Right. Here's a, uh, it's molded in orange, so. Well, I think the, we got some plastic on here that we'll have to clean up. Um, I haven't done a Corvette in so long, um, so it will be a little bit different, so. I've done some newer Corvettes, but never this body style, I don't think. So, I've been looking forward to doing it, so. Here's the the frame. Got the gas tank, or the spare tire here molded in. Here's your, where your, your rear suspension goes, front suspension. Doesn't look like there's any interior uh, tub work or anything in parts of this. In this tree it's got the firewall, the inner fenders, brake calipers, it looks like uh, the rally wheels, or the stock wheel, stock Corvette wheels I guess. And here's your wheel backs, and here's your spindles, springs, drive shaft, A-arms, uh, upper and lower, with the sway bar. Radiator, radiator shroud, one that looks like a cross member here, and that one. This one's got the interior tub on it. Um, here's the bucket seats, dash, the seat backs, front chin spoiler set up here, the hood, steering column, and steering wheel. Here's the dual exhaust. Looks like it's all separate this from front to back, so that's good. Here's your LT1 engine with a. I'm sure it's got a. I don't know if it's. I don't know if these got four four speeds or five speeds in these, but here's your heads, oil pan, kittens mailing. Um, here's your uh, water pump, timing tank cover, starter, distributor, fan, brake booster or brake uh, master cylinder. Here's the brake. Oh, that's the brake booster there. Here's the belt assembly, carburetor, coil, intake. One of your radiator hoses. Here's your manifolds. Part of your rear suspension. Here's your rear transaxle, I guess it would be, because it's got independent rear suspension on. Here's your shocks, your diff. Here's your chrome. It's got the air cleaner. Bell covers. Um, must be. I don't have to find out what that is. Just part of your. Let's see what some of that stuff is for. But here's some of your mirrors. Rear view mirror. Here's your your front bumpers. Or your rear bumpers. Here's your front bumper. Let's be something for the hood. Yeah. 
I'll have to find out where those go. Here's your rear tail lights. Here's your front and rear windows. Which you the so Brandon, you can have to put those in. You can either do the red line tires or the white Goodyear uh, tires, the white letters. They're out, they're already painted, so that's nice. Makes it a little easier. Those little letter trying to paint those would be very fun. Not a before though. Yeah, I don't want those small though. That's pretty small. <laughs> but I'm sure you can. Now, if I feel good enough, I can do just about anything. Yeah. You get, you get a whole assortment of license plates. You can you use a, a white striping on the hood or black striping. You get some Stingray. Here's some, looks like your radios. You got some Corvette emblems. It's got your 350 uh, emblems for the engine. And then, here's for the hood vents, I guess, according to that. It's got a bow tie license plate, this 1970, a couple of Stingrays, Corvette, and then here's your marker lights. And those. And here's your 1970, you know, instruction sheet. The Corvette picture down it. Oh, so we got a little background on the car, I'm sure. We usually always do. Yep. And this, you know, Rick tries to get me to read the information all the time. I used to, when I was a kid, I used to read all of them. Read every bit of them. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> but this goes through building the engine, installing your front suspension, installing the engine, your radiator, all your inner, inner fenders, and drive shaft in there. Then it goes through here about doing assembling your interior and putting the windows in and the interior in. Then hood and putting your chassis down there. Then assembling the wheels, installing wheels and bumpers and uh, your all your lights and rear bumpers. Then it goes here. It's got pictures of the car and got some paint codes and stuff. If you feel like you're doing all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's everything that's in the instruction sheet. And well, that was everything that came in this in this kit. So um, I know Rick's looking forward to doing this kit for all you Corvette lovers out there. Um, yeah, and it's something different. We haven't we haven't done a sports car yet, so we just wanted to try something different on the channel, see. Well, we hope you guys join us when we build this for the channel. And until then, uh, we hope you guys have a great day and hope to see you again. Bye!